Hello, and thank you for joining me, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. I am back from New Orleans. As you can see, I had to have my glasses over here. So hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. I have some specials and some swaps to show you, so we are going to get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. I don't see any comments. I'm not sure why, but let me just take this mask off, and we'll get started, okay? So definitely uh, leave me a message on here. Not sure why I'm not seeing the, the comments right now, but that's what I get up for taking off, right? Okay, so a couple of reminders. Don't forget you can get the Grab Your Coffee, Grab Your Tea mug and other fun apparel on the Stampers Delight shop. I'm going to be showing you some uh, specials that start uh, September 1st. That's the Perfect Partners. There's six new dies that coordinate with stamp sets. Also, don't forget World Card Making Day on October 1st. You can register for that event and all the links will be below i also have my online class which is with the sweetest christmas um, for september so you want to join that and again follow the links which i will add below so that's some samples of the cards you'll get designer series paper you'll get the glitter paper ribbon and the sequins so you definitely want to check that out also for September, Donna Gray and I are doing the Fun Fold Club with the uh, Splendid Day Suite. So you're going to want to check that and sign up. If you're in the August class and you haven't signed up for September, we will be taking those names out on the 31st. So you definitely want to re-sign up. And again, I apologize. I'm not seeing any comments here, but I will go back and check out all the comments later. So let's get started. Okay, if you'd like to place an order with me, this is my host code for August. Can you believe August is almost over with? I'm going to start <clears throat> with some fun things that I got at uh, New Orleans for backstage. Just got back from there. Oh my gosh, all I can tell you is I don't know how Stampin' Up! will top that. We had our own Mardi Gras parade. We got this great mask and this nice little boa. We also got these cute little umbrellas, the little fringe on it. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. If you haven't seen the video on my Facebook, go check that out. We also got this great bag and it's great for carrying swaps. And it's some nice little pockets all in there. We've got this plastic glass, uh, cup, which I love. Of course, our badges and some beads. We got this cute little fan. And trust me, you needed this little fan. It was so hot there. That's, there we go. Look at that. And then we got this other little bag here, which I'll probably use for a makeup bag, I think. And of course, we got our notebook and a nice little Stampin' Up! pen with this great pen holder and bookmark. I love that. I didn't use the, the uh, book yet. I didn't want to mess it up. And of course, and this was our agenda and all the different classes that we attended. And if you're in my build business builders um, team, I'll be going through some of that with you next week. So, oh, and I think in here, let me say I got my, there it is. Got my little badge here. Some great items. I'm going to show you some swaps, but before I do, I want to remind you um, of a couple of things. I thought I printed it out, but we have the perfect partners, which is what I'm going to show you today. That was this. Okay, so I'm going to show you those stamp sets, and you can get those um, matching dies starting September 1st. But we also have, on September 1st, a weekly special. So September 1st, 8th, 15th, and I think it's whatever, the 21st. Each week, they're going to feature some uh, Stampin' Up! items that will be on sale. So you're going to want to check each week on my blog or go to stampersdelight.com and check out what is on sale. 
Okay, so let me show you some swaps. Now, I got these swaps, and I do have most of the names on here. Some don't have names, or the names were lost. I apologize. If you see your card, and I didn't mention your name, please give me a shout out. So here's the first one I have to show you, and that is from Pat Shepard. I have another one here, and let's see if we have a name on this one. There's no name on this one. You can see that the hat is a little 3D there. We have uh, this hello, and this is from Lori Healing. I'm going to save that one for last, I think. This one is from Margo. I love this one. Check this out. Isn't that great? I'm so sad that I can't see your comments, but I will go back. That's what I get for taking off. Okay, this one right here. I'm actually going to be using that paper today. It's from Tammy Ackerson. We have the little Scotty. This is from Darla Morris. It opens up this way. Such great swaps, right? Happy New Year's. I, I don't have any New Year's, so this one's really nice. Diane Mangles. I apologize if I say anybody's name wrong. This one is from Tracy Allen. We have the Christmas one here. And that one has no name on it. So claim your card if that's from you. This one is from Linda Torelli. Again, I apologize if I say your name wrong. This one is from Marianne Hayslip. Gina Molinero Card Cardera. And if you'd like to see the still shots, they are on my blog. This is from Jan McCollum. So I got a nice variety, didn't I? Here's another fall one. There's no name on this one. This one is from Tyla Darley. She has this one that opens up this way. This is one set I don't have, so I was excited to get that. This one is from Alisa Mawson. Some great cards, right? This one is from Jerry Grinstead. And again, I hope I'm saying the names right. Got a look at the, this is so cute. I love the gnomes. And this is from Stamping with Renee. So this, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Stamping with Rosie. Okay, so this is from Rosie. This one is Michelle Rushing. This one is from Julie Brown. Julie, it was so nice getting to talk to you. And then this one is from Jill Olson. Now I have two more to show you. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. This one is really cute. I like this little one. Thank you to Christine. And this is a little holder, so I probably put that on. I had to put it together. Let me just fix that. She had a little tea light in it. So it stands up like that. And you can see there's the little train. And it stands up. And then last, but... Not, oh, nope, I got two more. Okay, so I'm going to show you this other one last. So if you saw my Facebook post, this was from Heather Guerrera. Heather, thank you so much. And when you pull this up, there was a candy bar in here. As you can see, the swap made it home. The candy bar did not. <laughs> so I'm going to have to buy another candy bar in there, put it in there so I can show you how it works. But again, thank you. I enjoyed that late night snack, Heather. And then this one is from Connie Ingram. And Connie gave me the directions for this. So this is her card. 
And I want to show you, look at this. They swing back and forth. So she did give me the directions and I told her I was going to case her idea. So I am going to use that in an upcoming video and show you how that was done. So thank you so much, Connie. Okay. So those were the swaps. Now let me show you the specials. Okay. So starting September 1st, you know, we already have fresh cut flowers Starting September 1st, you can get the matching dies. If you already have the stamp set, you can order the dies. If you don't have it, you can order it as a bundle. This was a card I did a while ago with that and the split uh, dies here, split textured dies. At the time, I didn't have the dies, of course, but there's a sample for you for the fresh cut flowers. The next one that you can get dies for is this uh, birthday piggy. And I haven't used this one yet, but I will in the upcoming weeks to showcase how you can um, use those. So there are six, but I only have five. I didn't get the Canyon Waterfalls, I think it's called. So the Trimming Your Tree, I've already done a sample with that a while ago. Here's the dies now. I wish I had the dies when I did this, but I didn't have the dies. So here's a couple of samples of that. Of course, this is just stamping. And then this was a shaker card that I did. And, of course, I fussy cut that. But now you don't have to because you have the dies. Exciting, right? So I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more with this one now that I have the dies. So that's trimming the tree. The next one is Yeti to the Party. I have not played with this yet, but you can now get matching dies starting September 1st. Look at the cave. I'll be playing with that. I'll be showcasing that in a few uh, weeks, in the next few weeks. Again, the Canyon uh, Waterfall Canyon, I don't have. The next one I'm going to show you is the Apple Harvest. Apple Harvest is the one I'm going to show you today. So this is in the catalog, but you can actually get the dies starting September 1st. So let me show you a couple of samples that I had done with this. And of course I use the die. There's the, the uh, sentiment die. Let me make sure I have that back in my case. I don't. Okay. Um, that one I don't have here. I'm not sure why, but you, sorry about that. All right. So I just want to check something too. Okay. And here's another one I did with that again. The die is not here. I'm just going to run over and see if it's on my table. There it is. Sorry about that. Like I said, this was just a impromptu video. So there's the die. We're going to use that. So those are two of the samples I did with it. Now I'm going to do a little stamping. So I have Poppy Parade. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Just going to do some quick little stamping here. I've got Poppy Parade. I'm going to go ahead in here and score that. Now I'm using our paper trimmer to score it. You get a nice score line. And don't forget our paper trimmer also has that arm that comes out for larger pieces. I'm going to bring in a piece of designer series paper. Now this is from the celebrate the seasons. Not sure what, I think I'm going to use this side. I'm going to cut that at four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to layer that right on top of here. Now I have um, this piece left over from my paper pumpkin that I just showcased. And I actually am going to use that leftover piece right out over there. So I'm just going to go ahead. Whoop. Now this weekend is Labor Day weekend here in the States. So I probably won't be on until Monday. Got a lot to do since I was away for the five days, four days. 
I'm just going to layer that on there. I'm going to go ahead and layer that right down here. I just wanted to hop on, show you these great dies and stamp sets. Because, again, the uh, dies are limited edition while supplies last. So don't wait. Okay, we're going to layer that right on top of there. And let's see what else I want to do here. I have uh, from the Stylish Shapes another piece of Poppy Parade. I'm going to put that right there. And then I've already cut out the larger um, image, which is right here. And I've colored that in with my Granny Apple Green and my Poppy Parade. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some dimensionals. I'm telling you, Backstage was unbelievable. If you'd like to learn more about going to Backstage uh, uh, next year in Vegas, I will help you get to Silver Elite so that you can achieve that. Um, I'm here to help you. Join my team. I will help you every step of the way. I'll put that right there. Now I am going to take that die... And I'm going to cut out a sentiment here. So let me just grab that. And I'm just going to put that through my machine over on the side here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I forgot to tell you. And then I'm going to grab one of the sentiments. The greatest gift is a good friend. I love that sentiment. So I'm going to grab that. And let's see, where is my inks? Okay, I'm going to use the black for that so it stands out. I've got my memento here, so. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right there. I'm going to put that right there and I don't need dimensionals. I'm just going to use my stamp and seal. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I think I'm going to add some Wink Costello. What do you think? Oh, I didn't even finish coloring this. Well, I have to finish coloring this first, don't I? <laughs> like I said, this was impromptu. I'm going to use this side here, finish blending that up. That would have been a good thing to do. So I'm just blending the darker spots up that I missed. I was just so excited to get on here and show you all those beautiful swaps I got and all the great goodies. Don't forget that special for joining Stampin' Up! and my team ends August 31st where you can get that great planner, three notebooks, and a stamp set to go with that. I'd love to have you on my team, and if you join now, you can... Uh, Get in on the business builders meeting next week. I mean, I can send you all that information. Let's grab a piece of white here. I'm going to grab the apple. Again, I'm using Memento. Put that apple right there. And I'm going to use Poppy Parade. So this is the dark. I'm going to go around this with the dark. I'm going to bring in the light and just blend that all up. You can use real red if you want a real bright apple. And then I'm going to 
go with the Granny Apple Green. Get some of the dark in there. Put that over and put that right inside the card. Whoop. Again, I'm using my stamp and seal. You can use whichever adhesive you want. And then I'm going to add some of the round opals, and those are in the um, annual catalog. And let me grab an envelope. And for the envelope, I think I'll take this one. Let's do this one. This is kind of large, so I'm going to flip that over and just put that on the back side. I'm not going to bother coloring it in. You get the idea. Let's do the envelope here, too, just so you can see the different stamps. I'll go back and color that later, but I do want to do a um, matching envelope. So there's another card with that, the Apple Harvest. Let's do one more. Let's see. I'm going to grab, this is Rustic Harvest paper. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to do this one at three and three quarters by five and I have a piece of again the poppy parade I want to make sure that is four by five and a quarter take that out so both cards two cards on the fly for you Okay, we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna grab a piece of white cardstock. I'm just gonna fold that. Now, normally when I do use the card bases, white as my base or very vanilla, I use the um, thicker white. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one and I am gonna go ahead and put that right there. I'm going to go ahead and layer that right on there. Okay. Now, here's a lot of pieces that I've already cut out and colored. You could see some of these pieces that were, that I've cut out. And I'm going to grab one of those little tree branches. And I think I'm going to do the double apple here. That's already got a branch to it. Maybe the single apple. Let's try that. Yeah. I'm going to do two apples, I think. Should have another apple. There it is. So I'm going to do those two. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that up here for a minute. And again, I'm going to do a quick coloring. Now, I always end up using my dark first. I know some people like to use the light. Either way, it comes out beautiful. Not even going too far over there, but I'm going to shade this area in. Shade this area in. Just color that up. So again, don't forget about my online classes. Sweetest Christmas is for September. I know there's something I'm forgetting to tell you. I was, I'm just, oh my gosh. I'm still in awe of the trip. I was so happy I got to go at the last minute. And a shout out to everyone that I met there. 
old friends and new. It was great to see you again live in person. Taking the dark, some of those veins. So with these new dyes that came out, I, I actually didn't buy those stamp sets originally until I saw, oh, except for trimming the tree and the, uh, which other one, the flowered one. And then when I saw that they had dyes to match, oh yeah, that, that did it for me. That absolutely did it for me. And I'll be showcasing those again in September, but remember the dyes are while supplies last. Okay, so again, I'm using our blends. I'm going to grab my Wink Estella because we all need shiny apples. Let me just squeeze a little bit this over here because it's starting to... I have lots of Wink Estella. This one is starting to go. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my Dimensionals. Add those to the back. This little piece right here, if I knew that it, what I had planned on doing, because I didn't plan on it, I'm using my liquid glue. I would have used my adhesive sheets. So I'm just going to add a little liquid glue to that. I'm going to put that right up there in the corner. And then I'm going to add my apples. Let's see which way I want these to go. Just like this, I think. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now I do need a sentiment again. The other sentiment says, hope you are feeling better. I actually do need a get well card. So I'm going to make this into a get well card. And over here is that die. Let me just put one of those over here, cutting it out. And then grab my black again. Hope you're feeling better. I'll put that right there. Again, I'm going to use dimensionals. I think the larger ones will work. If not, I'll switch to my minis. Nope, these work fine. Now I didn't get all those little... Just poke those out right there. Okay. Now I have all these cute little leaves and all these little things. This is with our glimmer paper. So I'm going to add some of those. I actually think I'm going to do this. Let's see. Sure, why not? I'm going to add that down there. You can see I put the sentiment on. I should have waited, but I wasn't sure because this is card on the fly. So let's put this right back here, coming up the opposite way. And then I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals. I have the black ones here, so I'll go ahead and use those. And I'm going to add some flower blossoms. Let's see, I have a couple more here. And one more. So again, this is our in, um, in color glimmer paper. Just going to add those right there. 
and maybe a couple of leaves, we'll see. I'm gonna add this one up there too. I'm gonna add this one right here, and let's use a couple of those little leaves, why not? What do you think so far? I'm add a couple of leaves right here. Like that. All right, I think that's enough. Now we're gonna go back with those great gems that I have here. So all these little pieces, you can see I already cut these out. Look at all the little pieces I have. So I even have some of the tree. There we go. I'll be definitely playing around with those. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to grab those round opals. And there we have a great card for a get well. Now I don't really have a sentiment for the inside other than it says hope you're feeling better. So we'll just leave that for now. And then I will take one of these little, the little flower here. And I'll just stamp that inside. And then I'll take an envelope and stamp that. Did I make you want this set now? Let's make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to grab this piece right here. And I'm going to make my envelope match. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. So again, remember these dies are available September 1st, but you also want to remember that celebration ends August 31st. So get those orders in so you can get those free products. I know some of them have sold out. If you have any questions, just contact me, stampersdelight.com. And there we have another card. Great cards with the apple harvest. Here we go. And I will put still shots on my blog when we're done. So thank you so much for tuning in. I know I'm not usually on on Tuesday, let alone in the afternoon, but I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to show you the great swaps that I got from backstage and also all our goodies but also i wanted to let you know about the perfect partners starting september 1st and don't forget four weeks in september we have specials going on every week so you're going to want to check if you're on my newsletter no worries i will be sending out a newsletter with the list so definitely sign up for my newsletter all the links will be below shortly so thanks for tuning in and keep on stamping stamp